If you are a Lord of the Rings fan and want to talk about scenes within each film that mean a lot to you, let me know. In the extended edition reviews, I will be showcasing you and the love you have for these movies. You can talk about the extended scenes or regular theatrical editions. For further details, DM me on Twitter. The link to Twitter is in the description box. Welcome everyone to Cinema Spotlight. Diving into Peter Jackson's career, we will be talking about Forgotten Silver. Forgotten Silver is about a long forgotten pioneer in the movie industry, Colin McKenzie, seemingly the first filmmaker to come up with several technical shots predating the recorded time of the early days of camera work. We dive into the life of Colin McKenzie and his trials and tribulations of his personal life and official work of his first feature-length film called Salome. I'm going to ask you to stick with me on this one because this is one fascinating piece of work of Peter's. Watching it will change your perspective on everything that you know. This is an incredible documentary, only an hour long and you can watch it on Vimeo for five bucks if you so wish. Detail is incredible and it's really something to behold on how they covered this filmmaker. To find out a lot of long lost footage predates certain technical shots that were invented years before their documented creation including footage of an individual who was indeed the first person to invent a, a powered aircraft before the Wright brothers. I mean, go figure. But what's the most important factor in this documentation of Colin McKenzie is his ambitious film, Salome, an epic biblical film faced with daunting challenges during production that brings the director to his knees. A tale of love, loss, war, disadvantages, struggles, triumph, and bittersweet closure. To think that there was always an unsung hero in every society, it's not uncommon, but New Zealand has definitely found theirs. This is a short documentary that I wished was longer, and I wished to know more. Explore the technical achievements that Peter Jackson and Costa Rhodes had directed together in this mind-blowingly game-changer of a documentary. The Peter shows up as himself as this discoverer and enthusiast of Collins, uncovering all sorts of trying, trying secrets and all sorts of stuff. There's, um, there's, there's uh, not much more to add in this review other than the fact that uh, this will be a cause of controversy. Everything you know will be split in two. It will frustrate you, make you want to do a lot of research yourself, considering Colin was now allegedly the first person in a lot of respects to become up to come up with all sorts of stuff. Um, I mean, my mind's blown uh, to think that this was the guy who single-handedly invented the tracking shot by accident. One of my favorite filming uh, techniques, uh, the close-up unintentional uh, on his behalf and created the first film the color uh excuse me uh capture color and sound i mean yeah really uh really real cool stuff um interviewees chosen within this documentary um were surprising to say the least sam neill shows up leonard malton uh just to name a few who show up in this truly incredible people coming together to tell this story um, I mean, I, I could, you know, I, I could gush about this all day, uh, but I ultimately feel that you should see this for yourself. So that's, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you all so much for watching. And if you've seen Forgotten Silver, let me know in the comments. Uh, be kind, be reasonable, and let's, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's applaud Peter Jackson. <laughs> Let's applaud Peter Jackson for tricking the poor souls in 1995 upon release of this documentary to a man that does not exist.
this was indeed a faux documentary covering the life of a man that was fake and never shot a long lost film of 60 years. Peter is dedicated in this uh, little film that uh, shows us all the elements of what makes up a documentary, how things are uncovered all in all the same likeness of this style of film. Uh, <laughs> watching this film, knowing that it was a sham actually really helped considering how even the specifics that went into documenting Colin's life were absolutely ridiculous. There's uh, no way researchers could find out certain various things, even with the extraneous efforts to know what they know. Uh, just, wow. Okay, so yeah, uh, especially since Colin was such a lost and forgotten person, just to know the level of detail that we got now just kind of contradicts the story itself. Either way, I actually really thought this was a fun little documentary, uh, a faux one at that, that I couldn't help but jump on and pretend that it was real myself. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> believe me when I say, if you've made it this far in my review, all that of what I said was a joke, uh, at least beforehand, before I did my switcheroo. This this is not to be taken seriously. Despite the controversy it started at the time, you can see in retrospect and realize that this was kind of a straightforward joke. You know, uh, it I really wouldn't take it too, too seriously. But I would say full disclosure here, I want to respect those who have a problem with a certain individual who shows up in this doc, and that is Harvey Weinstein. Um, considering what we know about the man now, I understand that this could be a problem for some people when watching it. I felt that it would be worth noting. If you have an issue with him, I would say avoid. He's in it a small bit, but he's he's selling the joke along with everyone else who shows up, including Sam Neill and Leonard Moulton and a few others. Take that as you wish. If you can't watch this on good conscience because he's in it, I completely understand. Uh, I just felt that you would like to know and you can make your judgments from there. With all that said, I definitely liked this documentary. I probably won't watch it again. It's rather a one and done for me. I would recommend it, maybe, but it just depends if you really enjoy documentaries and enjoy even the ones that are fake. For that, I liked Forgotten Silver and probably would recommend. Just depends. All right, my true ending here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have seen Forgotten Silver, let me know down in the comments. Be kind, be reasonable, and let's talk. Like and share and subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss another video. With all that said, I hope you have a fantastic and wonderful day. Until next time.